I think it's time to go to the house. Oh. Hey, 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 we gotta go, we gotta go. It is a busy day. We have our students just hay over there through the trees and uh, just took the motor off. One tractor. I rigged some hay ready this morning. Now we're gonna go see some cows. over there that's wet not it's not from me I think it's time to go to the house oh. This is something that we do uh, before we head out. We always want to oil our chains. This way here we get some lube on the chain and also on the gears as well. It kind of gives us a chance to inspect the baler. You know if there's any funny noises. That aha is Oh no! Any oh no noises? Ah, see, that's not right. This chain is getting a little loose. I'm gonna have to replace that soon. But if we don't get no rain, I'm not gonna replace it because we're not gonna be making that many bales. Oh, look at this. That needs to be tightened too. Let's put some hay into some bales.
think the cows will pound this pasture. Well, this is the one I set up for this morning, but this is okay. Gotta graze this down. Ooh. We have a bell. My client is the time. very long. Ah. What'd you do that for? I love my job. I love my job. I love my job. usually happens when you have a small wind roll. Okay, I think we got that thing unplugged. So what's happening here, you can kind of see we got two windrows and really nothing in the middle. So what happens is filling up the sides of the baler first and nothing in the middle. So everything kind of slides into the middle and it plugs up the baler. So we got to really, we got to really weave at first, so you can get the center of the bale level. Once you got that bore straight, then we're lapping. Then it's easy. Because these balers can swallow a lot of hay. Very pleased with, with the beer mirrors. And the other balers are good too. Down any other tailors, but uh, this is all the farmers ever, ever owned was beer beer. And we're gonna pick up this little bit of hay here. When it gets plugged, man, is it a pain? So that should pick up fairly easy. The belts aren't going yet, but. go so yeah we got to make like a good weave here the goal is to try to get hay in the middle we just pack the sides once we got that core like I said, level even and we just go straight. The hay is very light this year, so when we're breaking it through together, uh, I don't know if you can see, but you can kind of see the bale being formed in there. Maybe I'll get you a video sometimes of the bale being formed. I don't want to do it now. Come on, dude, we got some heavier hay. We're, we're going at a good speed with the tractor and it's bouncing and I don't want to lose the camera. Yeah, it looks like Sasha's almost done there. He's just doing a 
corners now. I am very blessed to have a worker like that. He's got it figured out. He'll make it work. Nice. So I noticed that there's a pin that's supposed to go in here and it's missing. So this holds the frame to the axle. So I can see that it's been rubbing on here for a while. So I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna take the road where it's level. So then I don't lose my front axle. So we're gonna lift it home. And Sasha's rolling. I love it, love it, love it. It's nice when the wheels are turning. nice when the wheels are turning and uh, you can, especially in the busy season, we are in our busy season right now. It's hay making time, saying you're gonna make, gotta make hay when the sun shines and still shines above the clouds. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Just uh, another activity with life on a Manitoba farm. I have one, two turns to make yet, two right hand turns to make. I'm gonna take it easy and make our, make our way home. I've never lost a pin like that before. These older tractors, sometimes it's not that easy to find parts. We have one, uh, they're a dealer for uh, high capacity. They have parts for these other tractors. Well, let's see if I can get some parts.